Alright, that's idea of npm script. Let's remove this script from here and uh, that's actually it for this particular example. And in this example we initialized new project with help of npm init. It created such file as package.json here. Afterwards we installed single dependency that is called express, here it is. Along with express there were other packages installed in our project because Express itself has its own dependencies, and those dependencies have their own dependencies as well. And basically anyone who has this package.json file is able to reinstall same dependencies as you initially installed on your computer. If you now remove node modules folder like that and enter npm install command here in the terminal, new node modules folder will be created if I refresh button here, you'll see it. And it will again contain all necessary packages like accepts, body parser and so on. That's actually why package.json file is needed. If you use for example git source control system and publish your repositories to github, there is no need to commit node modules folder, because anyone who has package.json file is able using npm install command install all necessary packages. Other than that, if there is package-log.json file, it lists actually exact versions that were installed in any project. For example, body parser's version is 1.19.0. And if in the project there is package-log.json file and package.json file, npm install will attempt to install exact versions listed in the package-log.json file. That's how it works. Great. Before proceeding to the next example and the next project, let me demonstrate to you what uh, power sign here, for example, or tilde sign here mean. Let me close index.js file and let me hide left pane. So, here you might find content type version tilde sign 1.0.4 and content type is dependency of the body parser. And this tilde sign means that body parser package is compatible with this particular version of the content type package. And all next releases with other patch versions. This means that, uh, for example, version of the content type that is equal to 1.0.14 will be compatible with body parser. But version 1.1.0, for example, this next minor release, will not be compatible. And during installation of the body parser, when content type will be installed along with it, npm will not install any other version except this one and any patch updates, even if other minor or major releases are available. If there is specific version listed here, like this one, then npm will install exactly this version, no matter which other versions are available at npm. Let's now have a look at the, this indication here. It is power or exponent sign in front of the software version. And this sign indicates that uh, your own package, because express is actually dependency of our own package, supports any minor updates and any patch updates but it doesn't support any major updates. For example, if next major update will be released, it is 5.0.0, let's say. And when you enter npm install, npm will not install such major version because of this exponent of power sign. This again means that uh, your package, your application is compatible only with minor updates and patch updates. And if there is, for example, next version 4.18.0, it is minor release, then npm will install it. Same applies to any page updates, like for example .3, .5 and so on. 